Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to our program uh, Daily English Note and uh, we always uh, make a uh, group call every Wednesday yeah, at 8 uh, p.m. and we always practice uh, speaking together with member in the group uh, so don't forget to uh, always join uh, free Wednesday yeah and I'm UC uh, I'm I will be the host here uh, tonight and uh, how are you all I hope uh, you all are fine uh, and we have uh, we have uh, sis Yubika uh, from Hong Kong and uh, Mr. Ochat, Faris, and uh, Batari. Uh, welcome, uh, sis Batari. Batari, uh, are you are you a girl or boy? My I know. Oh yes. Okay, welcome, welcome uh, here. And I already share about uh, today topic. Uh, that's about uh, emotional intelligence. Yeah. Oh, emotional intelligence. Yes, emotional intelligence. Yeah. Uh, according to me and my my uh, experience, uh, I think uh, emotion intelligence is better than. Uh, IQ yeah, IQ or uh, the result in our uh, our school. I mean, uh, like uh, ijasa, yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah, uh, I think that is uh, that is interesting to discuss, especially uh, if we uh, work in office or. We join in organization, something like that. We will meet uh, with uh, many people, and how uh, we uh, manage our emotion intelligence, how we uh, control our emotion, and know and identify uh, other emotion, so we can. Uh, to know how to interact or communication with the other people yeah and i want to know about uh, your opinion guys about uh, uh, your experience uh, to handle your emotion and uh, what do you think about uh, about emotional intelligence uh, that is important or not or something like that okay I will I will ask uh, one by one Rajat you have many experience for that about uh, in school in organization yeah could you share to ask uh, about your experience one <laughs> okay thank you for the time miss uh, you see um back then uh, uh when i was in elementary school uh, no, in the senior high school i always asked to myself that i got a lot of new perspective new environments because of the movement from the senior junior high school to senior high school in the Muslim boarding school. So I think this one of my new experience, and I got a lot of mental health illness yeah, because it's my first time to meet with the new environment and the situations. Nah, according to me about emotional intelligent is so 
suitable with our uh, problem when we had some problems. I read in some articles the emotional intelligence include such a as the self awareness, then um, the soft social skills, the empathy, motivation, and self regulations. So I think if we focus on what we want to manage our emotions, it will help us to a lot of some problems that happen to us. Seems like the empathy. I think the most of the Muslim. They all have a lot of empathy because of uh, their religion uh, support about the empathy. When we saw some like the poor man or yeah, jobless, we will feel empathy. We will feel bad to them. Then we give some monies or give opportunity. I think in the Muslim or in the Islam, we... Uh, we thought about it. We thought about how to empathy with one another. Then we can practice it to all all the problems that happen to us. So I think, yeah, if you want to be a good in the empathical or in the emotional, so as the Muslim or as the another religion, we just focus on our religion. We just focus on what our uh, our book in the religion such as in the Quran or in the Bible taught about the empathy taught about the pity yeah we just uh, we can learn about it and we can attempt to practice it in our life okay maybe just it yes, you see oh thank you so much and uh, what do you do to develop your emotional intelligence to practice that? Mm. Uh, I think, yeah, this, the, back then when I was the transition from my senior high school and junior high school from the outside to the inside of the Muslim Marine School is one of the great deal to me to create a higher level of the emotional intelligence because of yeah in the Islam we need to be uh, empathy with the another when seems like when I was in the elementary school I don't like the vegetable I don't like uh, eat some uh, I think yeah the vegetable a dish and then uh, I have a lot of some uh, uh, how to say it a, a lot of uh, something that I can't I can't to eat it but when I went to the Muslim boarding school with the food like yeah we know together about the food in the Muslim boarding school it is what it is we eat the rice hard we eat uh, the vegetable uh, something like in the uh, how to say bayam, yeah, peach, yeah, peach, or what? Spinach. Yeah. Spinach. Oh yeah, okay. thank you. Spinach. Yeah, we just eat. It is what it is. We make it so simple. Even we in the Muslim body school, there is two reason. If you don't eat, you will be sick, or you eat, but the taste is not really good. So <laughs> it's. Uh, develop our skill I mean that if we want to create the emotional intelligence we just uh, for, we just try to make another situation that we obligated to uh, to attempt the emotional our emotions some like when we saw in the social media about the Palestinian and the Israeli conflict so it create it create our emotions so don't just leave it don't just I want to skip this I don't want to see about the murder about the conflict I just want to be like feel 
uh, be be good. I don't want to see this. No, you ch- you need to see this to create our your emotional intelligence. You need to develop it to make your empathy, to make your self awareness, to make your soft skill to how to be a good person with the solution that you give to this problem. So I think this is my opinion. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Oh, I got a lot of uh, yeah, lesson from you. Yeah, I think uh, we need uh, to increase our knowledge. Uh, our knowledge uh, that's not only uh, we uh, read the book, but also uh, read or to know about uh, the news uh, in around the world. I mean, we must uh yeah to know about uh all the condition in the in the around around us around us uh, example uh when you uh when you walk uh around the street not not uh, by bicycle or motorcycle or car but you walk uh, you walking you walking uh, in the morning uh, or yeah you you can see many people many people around you and you can you and you can see uh people who uh in many condition i mean uh yeah some of them some of them are good uh, some of them uh the condition is low uh than us and hi welcome a fun uh yeah we we have, we have, uh, yeah, you see, we have, I want to say something about something that you said before. Yeah, you know, uh, regarding to bigger or uh, like homeless people, sometimes they have uh, much more money than us and they are richer in their hometown. In their hometown, yeah, 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 I know that. <laughs> yeah, wow. Uh, I I then I think I too much uh, innocent or naive yeah, uh, but I I when I saw them when I saw them I feel um oh, oh alhamdulillah my condition is better than the and I mean and and then uh if I saw uh, many many what is that many news uh in the social media. Yeah, I think I can I can take the lesson or a positive side uh, of of that and that make me uh, be better be better. Yeah. Yeah, uh Afan, uh what do you think about uh today topic? Yeah, it's about emotional intelligence. Uh I think this is very important and of course because uh when we have good emotional intelligence or it is called like EQ, right? Emotional quotient. Uh, if IQ is an intelligence quotient, uh, sometimes we we'll call it uh, EQ, uh, emotional quotient or emotional intelligence. I think this thing is about like when we can uh, feel someone how do they how do how do, how do they feel and then we can feel the same right and then uh, having good emotional intelligence is also good for us i think because it can make us much more uh, like uh, Roshad and UC said that we can have good empathy and sympathy to other people and uh, what else <laughs> Yeah, I think we should should uh, try to uh, always uh, practice to be a good, a kind-hearted person. And of course, by doing like as Islam taught us, Islam taught us, uh, we had to short do uh, a char- give a charity to the uh, person that is that that that, that, that needs, you know, uh, and then. Uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of sometimes people that, like you see, said before, uh, homeless and maybe like they don't have good economy, they don't they don't have uh, uh, a lot of money. 
so we can help them uh, but we can help them as we can as uh, as with, with our capability you know and emotional intelligence i think it, it can also make us feel much more sensitive and not sensitive i mean like uh, having good empathy to the other people you know uh maybe you see can you can you ask me more than than uh, than that one uh um what is your maybe you can like yeah try to ask me and then i can answer it because i still uh don't know too much about the issue oh yeah uh yeah uh, do you have uh do you have any experience about that i mean about uh how you handle your emotion or how you to increase your uh, emotional intelligence yeah, yeah okay okay uh actually there was uh, my uh no there was uh there is my aunt uh she ever said to me that i think you have a lot you have good emotional intelligence which means i have good empathy but sometimes can i feel like my empathy is too much or too big and it can maybe it's good but if yeah if if i have too much empathy it can uh it can have a bad effect for me it can make a bad effect for me because sometimes i feel like when i see someone like As you said before, you see, like there is homeless or like a beggar or uh, someone that is uh, on the streets, on the road, that maybe they like uh, begging for money to people on the street. Sometimes I feel like uh, pity to them, but and then I feel like I want to help them. But I've ever given the money uh, for a person like a beggar like that. Uh, it was a huge amount of the money actually, but and then I I regret. Oh no, I, I just make mistake. And then I mean I gave him one hundred thousand rupiah. And then and I and I think and oh no, this is big mistake. I should not do that. I should have done that. I mean, like and then uh, I know that maybe I can. I cannot help all the people in the world, so I just need to focus on the things uh, on my on myself first. Because uh, you know, we cannot help everyone in this world, and sometimes, and of course, we cannot please everyone. We cannot make them all make, make them all happy, and sometimes we just need to focus on ourselves first. Because if we want to help everyone in this uh, world. We cannot, and that is impossible, of course. So, I guess the better recommend, the better suggestion is we have to focus on ourselves first, uh, and then if we can help them, help them uh, based on our capability, not on our like uh, feeling. I think based on the logical, based on the logic, not the feeling. And what else? Uh, yeah, I think uh, that's regarding to the empathy. You see. Okay. And how about how about your uh, your emotion? Where when you uh, get uh, angry, angry, or if you are uh, uh, face uh, problems, uh, how can you handle your emotion? I think. Uh, em- Emotional intelligence does not only empathy, but oh, yeah, how yeah. can we control yeah, yeah. our uh, emotion? Angry or uh, face the problem or talk with uh, the other people when we get emotion? Yeah, uh, for me sometimes it's just like uh, maybe like try to forget it, and then uh, if I'm angry, I. Uh, No idea. Uh, maybe like uh, I don't know. Was it uh? Uh, take a deep breath. Uh, yeah. Or just silent. Uh, yeah, maybe take a just just silent. Then, and then yeah, I know sometimes when we are angry to someone, I think we just need to stay away from him or her. You know, just for a while, and then 
and then uh, cooling down, you know, and then we will be good again. We'll we'll be batch. We'll be we'll have good feeling again, and then yeah, and then talk again like that. Oh yeah, I yeah, you're right. You're right. I think I think it's better if uh, we uh, meet with uh, someone or yeah people saying, yeah people <laughs> go go yeah. uh, uh, get get us angry yeah we we can uh, silent be silent uh the first yeah, yeah. then then uh, we stay away <laughs> stay away and make calm after that yeah. we can we can uh com- make communication with them and then uh yeah discussion about the solution what is the problem and how how can find the solution yeah I think that there is. Uh, I I try. <laughs> I try to become like that. <laughs> yeah. That's why we we should have a good communication with each other, with every single person, right? Having good relationship, having good communication, and of course, always maintain our relation uh, with all the people. I think because sometimes when if we if we are angry and then. Uh, we stay close to him or her, and then uh, we don't feel good, and we don't have good emotion, and then we are emotional. I think it can have a bad effect, right? Bad effect. Bad effect. I mean, and then and then if we are angry, and then we can like do something that is uh, out of our uh, control and our out of our mind, and then it is become it, it becomes uncon- uncontrollable, you know, and. Of course, it, it's going to be very, very. Uh, what's the name? Uh, make a loss for us, you know. I mean, we, we, it will make disappoint disappoint us. Not just us, but for the other person too that that we have problem with him or her. Yeah, there is more challenges uh, when uh, we uh, uh, stay in office. Uh, or in the big organization, we face that we we face many problems with with, with many people with different character. Wow, yeah. we must so be patient, control our emotion. Yeah, so I think emotional intelligence or H of H H H U yeah yeah H Q is more 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 uh more uh, better uh, more important than uh, IQ I think like that uh, yeah. and in the case of success is uh, yeah emotional intelligence wow that is can influence influence uh, the other uh, yeah, yeah. Um, like yeah. uh, I don't know I, I still I, I like forgot but this one, I think I remember the point like you know the word uh, resilience which means when we fall down and we should get back up. I think it's also become one of the emotional intelligence when when we feel like we want to give up, we want to, uh, like, uh, we, we go down and then we have to get back up when something like a bad event happens to us, uh, occurs to us, and then we should, to go, we should, we should get back up. I think this, this is one of the emotional intelligence too. So, you know, some people call it uh, resilience. Like, you know, being resilient, it's uh, it's something like uh, when we fall down, we need to get back up, and then sometimes life is like that, right? And that's the law of life, I think. There will always be, there will always be, there will be, always, there will always be uh, challenges, uh, like, like, uh, uh, problem that we should face and we should overcome. But yeah, I think the solution will always exist, right? And then that's why uh, being resilient is important right now in this era. And of course, like, you know, uh, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it's easy. Okay. Anything else, Afan? Why you, you have uh yeah many experience yeah 
Do you want to say something else? Uh, yeah. Maybe yeah. Last but not least, I think we should we should always try to pray to Allah and and believe in ourselves and do our best. Yeah, and uh, practice it every day in every condition. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you, thank you everyone for sharing. And I will move to Yumika. Is Yumika, are you there? Uh, yeah. Okay. Sis, uh, I want to know your experience. Wow, this is interesting to know from you. Uh, we talk about the importance of emotional intelligence. I think in the organization, in the real life, we should to prepare for uh, emotion intelligence because when we just follow anger, people will run away with you and don't like to talk to you. That's why in everywhere we should to keep uh, cool, keep uh, silent whenever we get angry, and also. When we talk with people, we, we don't have a thinking before talk. People also don't want to listen because people just think, ah, you are useless. Why you talk like that? So that's why before we do anything, we talk anything, we should do news mind, we do news brain, we just do news uh, intelligent, emotional. I think this is good for everyone because when we just talking without the knowledge, without the reason, without the example, people are just, oh my god, uh, this is uh, not good for, for listening and don't like talk to you. This means that in the real life, uh, uh, emotional intelligence is uh, important but sometimes people forget you know when we talk a lot we just talking we follow from the heart we don't follow our mind so we forget anything this is, is a lot of common mistake I mean that uh, people are doing for example I talk to you right now I, I also don't follow uh, my mind sometimes because I lost because I just follow my heart I want to feel like that like that uh, but I also be careful if I talk with people, um, people just think I am an intelligent, but you know I am an uneducated person, that's why before I talk, I should to, uh, make space, how can I say it nicely and you interest to listen to me, this is uh, good for all and this is, is need skill, because yes, we have an education, but we don't have chemistry with people, how you can explore your speaking, people also don't interest to listen to you, that's why anything in the life we should to learn, thank you. Wow, wow, that's that's nice. And uh, uh, could you tell us about your experience when you work, when you work and uh, you uh face the problem and how can you handle your emotion? I think you have a lot of uh experience because you work in another country, have different different uh, many thing, many uh, character uh, of people between Indonesia and Hong Kong yeah uh, you know uh, stay in a board is not uh, not um, I mean anything is have a problem okay sometimes a lot of people just cry for handle emotional because we can't do anything at home we can we get angry easily but in abroad this is not really your family not really your country you should keep silent whenever you write this is, is a big challenge for for people when they are staying abroad uh, how can you handle your anger and how can you keep attitudes uh, because in behind you you have a flag your country you have a name your country if you do bad thing your country in front of people will be uh, wrong it will be bad so that's why when you stay whenever you were you should to keep good thing you should to keep positive thing so that's why your country name have a good thing this is hard you know and then 
Yeah, sometimes I can't handle my anger, so that's why I just eat something to make myself happy, to make myself calm down. Because my duty is uh, a nursing home, a lot of elderly stay here, and they are sometimes yelling, yelling, calling, calling, anytime. Whenever I want to sleep, I just sit down, and then people call me. I just want to sleep, people call me. This is, is make my blood sometimes boiling. Uh, so I just keep silent and I think uh, in my mind I try to think happily to make myself calm down because this is duty. We can say no. No, I don't want to do this job. I want to sleep. We can't do this because this is his duty. You choose this job. You should to have a uh, uh, tanggung job. What do you mean tanggung job? I don't know. Responsibility. <laughs> Sorry. Responsibility. Yeah, responsibility. Thank you. Yeah, so that's why to keep angry, this is so hard, but when we do practice every day, you can to be good thing, you can be positive in your life, and also you will be more patient. This is my answer. Thank you. Well, and I'm curious, how can you handle your stress? I mean, just uh, you silent and eat... Uh, your favorite food like that or you uh, do another other things uh, like uh, praying or uh, yeah make group call like this or you share with your family with phone or something like that to share your emotion yes uh, I have uh, high stress stay here because um, 24 hours I just have room i don't go outside maybe two days three days or maybe one week one time i will go outside just for buy a food this is make me stress i handle myself to join in the salawat group so that's why every day people are doing salawat with me to make my mind still remember allah or maybe make myself to be strong in a religion so uh, i join them Also, I join every day open calling group with my friend to improve my English. That's why I joined English club before because I can handle myself. I have stress, but I can't do anything. So that's why I just use my mind to learn. Before I learn Spanish, but Spanish I don't have a friend, so I can't learn more. And then I change my mind. How can I choose uh, English? At that time, I have a lot of friends. So. easy for me to, to uh, learn English and then uh, I enjoy with them. Until now, I doing calling whenever I have a free time or maybe, yeah, just I waiting grandpa, it's something, I sit down in front of him and I talk with my friend to reduce my stress. Wow, that's really great.